Hi, hey. welcome to Turn Eurovision. We've got the very first entry for 2023's Eurovision Song Contest. Which is hard to believe. It's still 22. It is. It's like we're living in the future. It's a pretty good one. It's from... Ukraine. Mm, how about Ukraine that? Ukraine had their national selection mm -hmm. and it was inside of the subway. Mm. Somewhere deep, deep underground. I see. So Almost you mean... like a bunker concert. Oh, wow. So, I mean, that, that kind of has some ties in what's happening in yeah. Ukraine right now, huh? Also, I read they kept mm. the location of the place yeah. a secret. Ooh. Just to make sure that everything's secure. Yeah. And nothing unexpected happening. Yeah, so they can film in safety. Yes. So, the winners are a band named Dworchi. It's only okay. two guys. Okay. One guy, fun fact, was okay. born in Nigeria. Ooh. They both studied in the same university. A band that met in college? That's the first time that's ever <laughs> happened. So, for you, tricky question. By yeah. the end of this video, you need uh -huh. to guess what they were studying. What was their major? Yes. Just by the video? Yes. If it's economics, how am I going to tell? Are they going to be waiting a bunch of money? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Culinary arts. They're going to be cooking the whole time. You will see. Okay, there you <laughs> go. Ooh. Wow. Sometimes you just gotta know when to stick your middle finger up in the air. Gotta know when to stick up your middle finger in the air. Sounds like Atlanta traffic. Wow. Visually, this is awesome. The coordination with what's going on in the projectors. Pretty neat. Especially because there's this underground in Subway. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hard location to film in, I would imagine. So I would guess it's the guy on keyboards that's from Nigeria. Almost got it to right. <laughs> okay. I had a 50-50. Interesting that he's singing in English. Choreography is really cool. Really is. I think this is a style that would be very popular here in the U.S. You know, futuristic R and B. You know that kind of yeah that kind of stuff. There's a lot of that right now, especially with such a visual performance. I mean, this looks like something that could be a performance at an American festival, something like that. Yeah, it's really neat. No nuclear. No nukes. Cool. No, that's really neat. Um, the lyrics are, you know, really about resiliency and <laughs> toughening it out. <laughs> that's awesome with the Ukraine flag there at the end. Very cool. Yeah, the lyrics kind of like uh, not denying what is happening in the country, but yeah. they're not trying to be like too bold and obvious about it. No, no, it didn't feel like that. It felt like it was, uh, you know, illusory, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, leading to that kind of that kind of thing without, yeah, actually having to come out and say it, hit it right on the nose. But a lot of the visual effects, you know, like the, the no nuclear thing, all of that, that was, was pretty obvious what they were talking about, you know, making it a broad statement. I think it was perfect. I think it was really good. What do you think musically? Do you like it? Yeah, it's, you know what? That kind of stuff is a little slow paced for me and not necessarily my cup of tea, but it sounded very good. It's not what, like it was a bad song or poorly written or anything like that. It had a, a good melody. His vocals were fantastic, too. You know, production you know, is really cool. Production was yeah. excellent. So I think the whole, the whole presentation really worked all together. Um, the set, the song, the lyrics, mm -hmm. all of it. Some people say that chorus is not like strong enough, that it's a little bit, that you need more punch there, something more mem memorable. What do you think? I think that's probably a valid criticism. Uh, I, you know, I don't think that it's awful, uh, but I do think that, it, it, you know, the whole song kind of relied on the same melodic pattern the whole time, mm -hmm. the same melody, yeah. the whole thing. So it's kind of hard to differentiate when the chorus was, except so, for when he's singing, I have a heart of steel. Yeah. Which, how does a heart work like that? I mean, it should be made of flesh, right? How does it beat when it's made of steel? Speaking about that, let's come back to our question and see if you can answer it. Oh boy, here we go. So what was their major? <laughs> uh, videography? <laughs> Metallurgy. <laughs> I mean, this thing about a heart of steel, you know what I mean? Engineering? Last chance. Hard? Ooh. Oh, uh, anatomy? Uh, medic medicine? Pharmacy. Ph pharmacy. <laughs> Pharmaceutical. Okay. Good job. Pharmacy people, you can yeah. do music too. Pharmacy people. I'm just wondering if music people can do pharmacy as good as pharmacy people can do music. I bet most of them would be very willing to try. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe unsupervised. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was Ukraine. Really neat. Sets a high standard for other uh, entries to compete against. Uh, I can't wait to see what else comes after that. Let us know what you think. As always, make sure to leave us a comment. We love seeing those comments. Like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.